What's up you guys, it's Giotto! Today I'm going to show you how to install the Elgato HD60 Pro in your PC computer. It's not really that hard, but the video from the official Elgato people makes it look a little bit too easy. So I'm going to see, is it really that easy? I've got a brand new unit here, and I'm going to install it inside of my PC computer. So let's get started. Alright you guys, so here's a peek at my super awesome desk. I've got a three monitor set up with a fourth that's my TV. Here is my computer. It is a Zydax custom PC. I spent a little over four and a half grand on it. It's a very, very good investment. I love my PC. So you can see it's got a bunch of really cool stuff in there. What I'm going to do right now to get started is turn it off. So let's go ahead and turn it off. All right, it's just closing down some of my programs here and shutting down, so there we go. It's gonna get turned off, and then what I'm gonna do is unplug it from the power and turn off my battery power supply as well. So let's turn off. Oh, well, I actually don't need to turn off the battery since I'm going to unplug it, because I've got some other things plugged into the battery that I don't want to unplug. So I'm gonna unplug everything from my computer, which I rarely ever do. I pretty much never unplug everything, but when you're installing new hardware, you have to un unplug stuff. So, I'm just going to unplug everything. It really sucks to unplug everything because I'm going to have to plug it all back in. It takes forever. Okay, nothing else is attached to my computer now, which is a very rare situation. I'm just going to dust this off a little bit. A little magnetic dust screen there on the top. This is a Corsair tower. I have to say I absolutely love my tower. It is a wonderful tower. It has done me super rock solid. I've had a wonderful time with it. It's a little bit dusty right now. And uh, you can see all the various ports that I have, including my video card, which has four ports on it. So this will expand me to a fifth HDMI output, which I only needed extra video cards to be able to support that. My motherboard already supports it, but I had no extra um, video cards to be able to go there. So now I could technically go to five monitors from what I understand. So let's move on to the next step. I'm going to remove the outer shell of my case. I only need to remove one side. Okay. Now we're inside. You guys can see I went with the blue cable wraps. I also had the blue LED lighting that you may have seen uh, before I turned it off. So now what I need to do is find myself an available slot. Let's see if I have got one. I think I've got one down here. So you can see my, uh, my, what is this, some Wi-Fi TP link. So that's a Wi-Fi. It actually doesn't use the entire little bar that it's sitting in. It only uses two little slots of it, which is interesting because I was wondering how is this going to fit in there when it only has that tiny little slot, but it'll work just fine because of those two tiny little slots. So I've got two available bays. One of them has that nice audio boost thing behind it, and I don't want to cover that up because it looks kind of cool. So I think I'm going to use the bay that's right below my video card. But my video card doesn't have a ton of room underneath it, so I may go with the one that's behind the audio blast thing. It seems like either one of them would be fine. And then there's also another one down here that I could technically use as well. So my motherboard has plenty of room for the expansion. Okay, I'm going to set up my tripod and then uh, do the installation and unbox my unit. Alright, so I'm going to unbox my um, Elgato unit here. Let's take the packaging off there. Remove the box and the unit here. So here is my Elgato. HD 60 Pro. See if I can get it out of the box correctly. 
There's the faceplate that I'm going to need to install. Okay, so here's my unit. I am not, I think the faceplate there, actually I don't need to install, I was incorrect about that. Um, the faceplate, that was a miniaturized one, just in case it's a smaller port, I believe. So here's the, the it's got an extra faceplate just in case you have a smaller port. Okay, so I'm probably handling this a little bit too much. And now I'm gonna touch the edge of the thing just so I'm not just so I'm grounded. And let's see if I can get this installed. I've got my lights kind of in the way, so I'm trying to find a good place where I can lean down and do this. So I chose this one. Oh, it looks like I'll need a screwdriver. I thought it would be loose enough just to twist it. No, I'll need a screwdriver. All right. There we go. Take this guy out of there. It's just a blank. Now here's the only real tricky part, seating this guy in there correctly. Honestly, you guys, that was so easy. I can't believe how easy it just like clicked in there, nice and tight. I'm just gonna screw it in, and uh, we are done. The hardest part was getting my case open and unplugging everything. This is nice and tight, secured in there. Let me demount my camera and I'll show you guys. All right, you guys, so I finished. I've installed the Elgato HD Gaming Pro in my computer, nice and easy. It went in extremely simple. And let's get a look from the back here. It's lined up very nicely, very seamless. It looks like it goes with the rest of my ports, everything is nice and tight. It looks fantastic. So I have officially upgraded my PC for the Elgato gaming video card, and I feel really good about it. So I hope that this helped you guys. It's just a quick little tutorial on how to install it in your Zydax custom gaming PC, MSI motherboard, uh, Corsair case. So hopefully this helped you guys. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to my awesome subscribers. And peace. All right, you guys, so I just plugged everything back in. I'm booting up the computer for the first time. All right. Let's go see if my computer can see it. I had to replug in all my monitors, so I'm guessing I'll probably have some issues with my monitors. It says that it's installing some devices. Let's see what devices it thinks it installed. Let's go to my computer and check out my devices
that would be the PCI that I installed that does not have drivers. Probably, all right, so it recognized it, Game Capture HD60 Pro, nice and simple. All right, so there we go, sound, video, and gaming controllers, Game Capture HD60 Pro, installed it nice and easy. You guys can see a little bit about my, um, my machine build here, just in case you're curious.